Now to a new designer drug that officials say can be addicting and deadly. It's an especially potent form of fentanyl, and so far it's killed five users this year. The Drug Enforcement Agency has yet to call it a controlled substance, so technically that means it is not illegal. And as troubleshooter Jill Kanopka reports, police are getting the word out. Beware. Regular fentanyl is a potent synthetic opioid about a hundred times stronger than morphine, says the DEA. Experts add acryl fentanyl may be even more dangerous. And what's scarier, doctors are now worried the drug commonly used to counteract overdoses may be resistant to this new strain. From the suburbs, two connected deaths in Bristol, one in Canton, to the cities with two deaths in Hartford. Acryl fentanyl has arrived in Connecticut. Well, acryl fentanyl is is one of the synthetic opioids. It is very frightening. It's it's terrifying. Since March, five fatal overdoses have tested positive for acryl fentanyl. Dr. Craig Allen, medical director at Rushford Outpatient Clinic in Meriden, says the chemicals were developed and researched, then shelved to avoid human use. They're now being re recirculated. And uh, the problem is that they're very, very potent. Causing users looking for a fast fix to maybe drop dead. The risks are that people who think they're getting heroin may use the same amount of this new substance and it will shut down their respiratory drive and with fentanyl, acryl fentanyl, that happens so much quicker than it does with heroin. Officials are also worried acryl fentanyl may be resistant to the overdose reversal drug naloxone, known commonly by its brand name Narcan, which has saved hundreds of lives across Connecticut. The problem is, as these synthetic opioids become more and more potent, they attach with a much greater, a stronger affinity to the receptor, and they hold on for longer periods of time. So you may need multiple doses of naloxone in order to knock those substances off. It's really, really important to remember to call 911 before you do anything. As witnesses did in both deadly overdoses in the capital city. We understand that Narcan uh, might not work on every case of uh, fentanyl OD. Uh, and we've also been trained on how to address that, and that's generally with more doses of Narcan. Uh, we're prepared to do that. Deputy Police Chief Brian Foley says his department, like many others we talked to, share aquafentanyl fentanyl intelligence among themselves and across state lines. Check this bulletin from Vermont issued to all HPD personnel. We have to notify our user population and keep them constantly updated as to what's going on. Uh, and you're seeing everyone that can reach out to the user population population are doing that. Uh, unfortunately, it's a sickness, and despite the toxicity of the different types of fentanyl, users are still going to use. This is what first responders in the state of Connecticut carry. Mark Jenkins founded the Greater Hartford Harm Reduction Coalition. Now clean for decades, he's armed with generous supplies of Narcan and needles to help those in need. Jenkins says if the naloxone doesn't work, you should question what else is in someone's system. We don't know if there was alcohol, also in toxicology, if there are benzos on board, that, that's what made it more resistant to the naloxone. Dr. Allen says families facing addiction at home really need to make sure they can perform CPR and not forget to call 911 immediately in an emergency. With the Troubleshooters, I'm Jill Kanopka. Back